Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, hunties. Today, I don't know if it's allergies, if it's a cold, if it's a sinus infection, I don't know what's going on up in my schnozola, but it's very stuffy and I'm blowing my nose like every five minutes, so please bear with me. I'm so sorry if my voice sounds annoying. I can barely even listen to myself talk, so I totally get it. So I just got in the mail the new Court X Kylie Cosmetics collection. We have three eyeshadow palettes and we have three lipsticks here. So today I'm gonna be doing like a first impressions on everything. I believe the collection comes out on the 24th. Let me pull up some of the prices here. Well guys, I have no idea the prices. I can't find it. I don't wanna waste time here with the prices, but I will let you know what is going on. I will try my best to leave it in the description box. So I'm kind of like battling with myself right now. I'm not really sure if I want to do foundation because I, I'm i just blowing my nose nonstop and I don't think that it's like gonna happen. Like, you know what I mean? If I keep blowing my nose, I'm gonna just keep taking my foundation off. So today I think I'm just going to do my natural skin. I do have a little bit of like discoloration going on and I think I got sick from Coachella, honestly guys. Like so much has been going on in my life the past couple of uh, like weeks here, days, and I just feel like I'm going nonstop and it's really catching up with me. Also did just wanna say in the beginning of this video I will be doing a life update very soon I know a lot of you guys are shook and want to know what's going on and I will 100% be honest with and open with you guys so let's just get on into this tutorial I want to start with my eyes first I really like the outside packaging again I've said this before I think Kylie does an amazing job with her packaging I really like these like rainbow like holographic kisses on here very cute and then this one kind of reminds me of like ocean, like blue water. I'm looking at it in my mirror, sorry. <laughs> and these are quads. So we have like each palette is a different color. And the names of these eyeshadows, dude, I was laughing my ass off because they're all like gluten free, like <laughs> no soy, like no dairy or something like that. And I just thought it was hilarious because like I watch the Kardashians all the time and I think that that so fits Courtney's personality. We have a mint palette. And then the last one we have here, I believe is pink. Yep. So let's go through. This one, the pink palette we have right here, which is more warm tone, easy colors to wear and work with. We have like your golds. This one kind of looks like a duochrome just from looking at it in the mirror. And we also have one matte shade. Inside of the mint palette, it's definitely more like vampy, vibrant and like more like on the bold side. I love this red. I think that that could be really beautiful mixed in as a transition shade or something like that. So we have a green in here, silver and kind of like this taupe color. And then the last palette is this blue one, which is more of like if I had to base this off of a season, like if it reminds me of like a beautiful like summer slash fall palette, like it has that like really yellow gold. It has the more like burnt brown color in there. So we have a lot of different colors going on we also have some nice mirrors like this is a pretty nice size for an eyeshadow palette so these are all of the palettes that we have here if I'm just looking at it like the ones that pick up my attention the most are definitely this two and I really want to use this palette kind of make this the main star of the show here so let's just go on in I'm trying to think like if you guys want swatches, I'll do some quick finger swatches. If you know me and my channel, I'm really not a huge fan of swatches. I personally like seeing how they perform on the eye. So this is the blue palette right here. Pretty pigmented swatches. I mean, for me, it's like I say, guys, I'm like a freaking broken record over here, but I feel like, you know, you gotta just play around with it and see how it performs. Ooh, this red swatched beautiful. I was barely even pressing because I wanted to test it. This palette is really cool. I like this. I think that red honestly makes it really pop and stand out. And then the last palette to swatch for you guys is the pink one. This is definitely the most soft out of all of them. And I have to say like if I'm going just off of the couple swatches I have on my fingers right now, this one feels a little bit more like jaggedy. Like not jaggedy, but like it doesn't feel as smooth and as creamy as the other shadows feel. So we'll have to definitely play around and see, I mean, I wonder, it swatches nice, like on my arm, I don't know if you guys can see that, like it swatches, okay, I don't know. 
what do you guys think? It definitely did feel a little bit more, not necessarily chalky, but it did feel a little bit more like rugged when I swatched. Okay, so since we have three different palettes here, I'm gonna try to use as much of every palette as I can. Going into this pink palette, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, which I believe is called the Queen or Gluten Free. I'm so bad, you guys know I suck at telling the shade names. And then I'm just gonna be taking this and working it in my crease. I kinda wanna do a cut crease or like, I'm not sure what I wanna do cause like if I'm not putting foundation on, there's a lot of possibilities. This is a really pretty transition shade. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera, but in person, like in my mirror, it looks really, really nice. It's easy to blend. Okay, picking up the mint palette, I'm going in with the shade Calabasas right here on my Morphe M433 brush. And you guys do know I have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps at the checkout, and that gets you 10% off, and it also gives me a little bit of a commission, so it's a win-win here. Helps me feed my dog, so thank you. And then I'm just going to pretty much go right over that transition shade, but kind of work it a little bit lower in the crease, that way it blends more like a gradient. And then doing the same thing right over here to this left eye, and I'm using very, very, very light pressure. This is a very pretty shade, I really like this color. I feel like it fits very well with my skin tone. These stupid little baby hairs won't stay down. Now I'm gonna switch to my Morphe M514 and I'm gonna go into the mint palette and I'm taking this red shade, I believe is called Mace. This is a very small, like detailed brush. I would say this is one of my favorite brushes when I'm working with either dark shades or color because I feel like it just gets into my crease the best way I want it to. So I'm just going to work this very slowly in the outer V. This is a nice red eyeshadow actually. And then in between each kind of like blending situation going on, I usually take another brush that doesn't have any additional product on it and like kind of blend it together. I feel like that's the best way to get that seamless gradient effect of eyeshadow. So if you are a person that's like looking on how to better your blending skills, I would definitely say having this as an option is a really good idea because it just really smooths everything together. I would say you can get the full intensity of this red within like two, kind of like two sessions of blending, which is really nice because a lot of the times with reds, it could be hard. Sometimes they could be like too pastel-y and not like pigmented enough. So this is actually working out pretty nicely. And then again, just kind of blending everything together. And this is also why I really like doing my eyeshadow first. Like a lot of the times people will be like, why do you do your eyeshadow first? Like, is there a certain reason that you do it? Is like, should it be done that way? And it's because, I don't know, I feel like I get a little messy. I get a little creative up in here. So I don't want to like have all of the fallout on my face, especially if I have my foundation on. So I usually like to do my eyeshadow first. And speaking of fallout, there definitely is a little bit of fallout. Like, I'm not sure if you guys can see in this red shade. The other two shades, they really didn't have much fallout, but the red one does have a little bit of fallout, but it's not on my face. I actually have no fallout on my face whatsoever. It's just in the palette. Personally, I don't really care too much about fallout other than the fact that like you tap off the excess and obviously you can see some of the powder, but I think that the shadows are really performing great. Like that looks very pretty. I'm very happy with that. I also am gonna take this onto my eye in the corner here, kind of like halfway situation. Okay, so now what I wanna do, I'm gonna take some of my primer water with Smashbox. This is Serene Greens. I sprayed my brush and I'm going into the pink palette and I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, which I believe is called Posh, or it could be diamond, I don't know. And I'm going to kind of cut the crease halfway, just kind of meeting it halfway with the red. And I'm just gonna pack some more on. And what I like to do is like a padding motion when it comes to these kind of like foiled shadows. This red, I really just can't get over how well it blended. Cause you know the drill with reds. I feel like it could either be disastrous or amazing. There's really no in between. And then I'm going to blend the red into the shadow. I really like the shimmer shade. I underestimated it because at first it didn't really feel that nice. It kind of has almost like a blue pearl tint to it. It's like a silvery, 
I like this. And I'm just kind of like adding more shadow. You don't have to do this. Like I'm just trying to intensify it. So I'm going to take this brush, the M514, and I'm just going to blend the shadow in with this. I don't have any additional product on the brush itself. So I'm just kind of taking whatever's left on the brush and blending it in. Okay, guys. So I'm going to quickly go off camera, do some winged liner, and pop on some lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I popped on some lashes. I put on the Style NYC Lily Lashes. These are my favorite lashes. Like I love NYC in Miami. I alternate between those a lot. And Arika, Arika Sato, she has a really nice lash as well. These I feel like fit with the look really well. They don't take too much away. Cause I feel like when I go through the effort to put like colorful eyeshadow on. I want it to be seen, if you know what I'm talking about. So these don't really take anything away. If anything, I feel like they kind of flared out. So I'm feeling like, even though like I don't really feel that good and like I'm blowing my nose constantly, you could see I kind of look like Rudolph right here. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of foundation just to like give myself an even skin tone. And the foundation I've been using lately is the Forever Undercover from Dior. This is shade 25. This has been my ride or die currently I really love this foundation um, a lot of you guys have been like oh what foundation have you been using and stuff like that and it's seriously been this and I think what I'm gonna do really quick is like I'm also out of my Tatcha look at my water cream I'm like scraping the bottom I'm gonna kind of leave this and let it sink in around my nose because my nose is so dry my whole face is actually pretty dry the good thing about this Dior foundation is I find for my skin, it's not too matte or anything like that. So it's perfect. It doesn't dry me out. It doesn't do any of that bull crap. So I'm very happy about that. And then I'm going to add some of my favorite Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Ooh, this is a lot of primer. I didn't mean to do that much. And I kind of dab it on my face. And then I'm just going to rub that in. This is kind of my key to like a flawless base. I feel like once you have that protective layer for your skin, like the primer and your moisturizer, like it just makes it so much easier to paint on your face. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some of this, dot it on my face. I feel like for the most part, this is medium to full coverage. Sometimes I do feel like I need to go over it every now and then, like in certain areas if I'm like having a breakout or like if my skin is red or sunburn or anything like that, sometimes I do feel like I need to go over it. But for the most part, I really, really like this foundation. I think it's amazing. And then I'm using my Morphe Y6 Flat Top Kabuki to just kind of push this into the skin. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna set this with some Patty's powder, throw on a little MAC Give Me Sun bronzer, and we'll continue with the lower lash line. When you say you're only going half glam and you go full ass glam, my life story. Okay, so let's continue with the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna follow that same pattern, kind of like smoke out the red. So since we're working with a dark shade, I'm gonna be taking this really tiny, eensy beansy baby brush. This is the M515, and I'm just going to closely follow my lash line with this and kind of smoke it out, like connect it to my wing I have going on. Ooh, girl, I love this red. I would say so far out of every palette I've used, I really like this mint one the most. This red is really good, I like it. Picking up the M515 yet again, I'm going into this pink palette, taking this shade right here, and I'm gonna kinda put that on the inner corner to match the top part of it. So I'm gonna add some mascara to the lower lash line. I have the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup and I actually really am digging this mascara. The wand is kind of big, but I don't mind it. Like it's not like obnoxious. It doesn't get in my way. And I find that it's very, very conditioning for my lashes. Like they don't feel stiff or anything like that. They feel really nice. Bitch, I'm loving this. I'm living for this. I do have to say, as far as like eyeshadow quality goes, like I think the quality of the shadow is very amazing. I think if I had to pick a palette based off of everything I've used so far, I would definitely say the mint. Like for me, when I look to buy and purchase new palettes, I look to purchase things that I don't necessarily have or like the color scheme of it is different than something that I already have so like this to me is very different and very fun and very playful you can really dress it up or you could do a very simple like taupe kind of vibes going on 
I think that this is my favorite one. I think that this shadow perf also performed the best. The only negative thing I have to say about these shadows is that they, the cases, like the actual component itself does get dirty. Like if you are someone like me who has makeup all over their hands at all times, you will get this dirty. I mean, but it's also a simple easy deasy wipe and it's back to completely clean. But I did just wanna point that out because I know that there are some people out there that do not like when things get dirty. Like for example, they don't like like white eyeshadow palettes. Like, you know what I mean? Like the outside of it is white because it gets so dirty, but these are easy to clean. They have that kind of like material. I know someone's gonna hate that. Someone's gonna comment that sound. All right, so let's move on to the lipsticks. Again, really cute packaging. We have like the holographic going on here. Oh, and guys, I'm so excited. So I'm finally like gonna be getting my bottom veneers done. I know a lot of people are always like, when are you gonna do your bottom teeth? And if you didn't know I have veneers, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious I have veneers. I wanna be getting them done soon. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, like me, more or less like me, like vlogging more, I feel like that could be really fun and I can like show you guys kind of like experiences that I go through that aren't necessarily related to beauty. Like you guys know I've been skiing a lot, I've been hanging out with Mo a lot and like just doing a lot of different things that aren't necessarily beauty related and I think it would be kind of cool to show that side of me. So let me know like if that's what you guys like. So looking at the package right away, I really love, love these little like lipsticks. Like I love the components. I think they did a really good job and they also matched each one. Like this is the pink top, maybe to go with the pink palette. We have a blue top to go with this blue one. And then we also have a mint green top to go with the mint palette. So I like the way that they did that. They are all velvet liquid lipsticks, which I'm actually stoked about because velvet is personally my favorite from Kylie. I love that formula so much. So I think what I'll do is I'll do like little swatches for you guys. I'll do swatches on the back of my hand. So this one right here is called mini Which is more of like a burnt orange like I would say this is very like orangey red Muted I like this. It's like a brick color. How many words can I use to describe one color? <laughs> but that's a pretty color definitely universal. The next one we have is French kiss, which is a nude that's really beautiful. That's very, very wearable. Very, very wearable. And the next shade we have, which is also the last one, is called Rad. And this is like a bright red orange. This is really cool, actually. I feel like for the summer months coming up, I love me a nice bright red orange. These are the swatches. Very pretty shades. I really like them. So I'm going to take MAC Lip Liner. This is called Oak. This is kind of like a cool tone lip liner, but I feel like it could be really good underneath this. And then let's pop on this lipstick. Ooh, I really like this lipstick. I'm actually gonna mix this on top of it mini. Just kind of want to see the vibe it creates. Ooh. This is pretty. The two of them mixed together, I actually really like. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me give you some of my final thoughts here. So, I have to be honest, I think that this is my favorite collaboration that Kylie has done with her sisters. Like comparing, like I hate to compare and like do that, but like I think that this one is definitely the most different and interesting because you have that like unique packaging going on. You have the holographic like around the shadows. You have the different packaging, like you have this more round top and like the court logo on it like I really like that I think that that's cool and different if I had to pick one of the lipsticks I would definitely say this one which is mini I really liked mini a lot and then out of the palettes y'all already know I really like my mint so yeah I mean I hope that this video helps you guys I really did like the look that I came up with could I do this with another palette that I have probably but you know what this is makeup and if you're like me and a makeup junkie and need all the makeup in the world World and just like to collect makeup. I think that this is a really cool and different collection that Kylie has done and definitely more like bright. Like we have the blue, the mint green, the pink. We have like more of like a bright pastel -y vibes. And I feel like that's not really like what she's done before. So I think that that's definitely unique and fun. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and keep up with me on all of my social media link down below. I will also try my best to get the prices in the description bar for you guys. Again, I'm so sorry I don't have that information for you. Either that or I just am not all here right now. My sick brain is just like 
making a fog here. So I definitely apologize for that. But yeah, I do really love the way that this came out. I don't really have too many complaints. So yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.